So hello my beautiful loves. Remember yesterday speaking, speaking? Well, now we're going to speak about how to achieve true manifestation, law of assumption or law of attraction or whatever you want to call it. How to actually achieve it on your 3D. How to get what you want. Okay, so we're going to speak about that. On law of assumption, you would hear the live on your end a lot and ignore the 3D a lot. Uh, when it comes to law of assumption, they do really focus on that. Now, what this means, what this means, how you actually achieve that, and I'm going to use when I unconsciously manifested my um, table, as an example but then i'm going to give you a human example when you want to manifest a person or you want to manifest a group of people or you know what i changed my mind because this is going to youtube um i'm going in youtube i do is specifically like that or readings for love i'm going to focus this on the love area and on the people area so it doesn't have to only be love it can be people a group of people or something that have to do with other human or other humans okay so this is very important living on your end means that now first ask your, your ask you this question what do i want okay let's say we're speaking about someone you you do love or let's say you want a guy to pursue you to be like be the one who is chasing you right or, or a girl I mean, no, no, if you're a man, don't, <laughs> that's very not masculine, so for a woman, you want this guy to chase you, okay, so what you need to do is to start to change your frequency, it's very easy to be like, okay, I want a guy to chase me, so I'll just, just let me, I'll just wait here until he chase me, and nothing happens, <laughs> You know, uh, you're doing it wrong. It's very important. If you want to flip the, the, the thing, you need to start to vibe on the frequency of being chased. Now, uh, it's very important to analyze, ask yourself, like, what do I want? What do I actually want? So let's say, don't say, like, I want this person to contact me or send me a text or call me or, you know, the, those are like minimum things those are part of the process what do you really want let's say uh, you want marriage you want to marry get get married right that's what you want so that is your end not him texting you or you know calling you but but being on a wealthy marriage with a man that is masculine let's say that right i don't know what you want i'm giving what i want a masculine man that pursues you that you know he's not afraid to fight for you he's not afraid to you know put someone on their place because they're disrespecting you you know a man that is going to be there for you a man that is going to 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 protect you to provide for you that is going to make your life easier instead of a harder and you can make his life easier instead of a harder and you can be his inspiration right in my case that's what i want <laughs> So is what 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 I like. Let's call it like that. Not want. That's what I like on men. So you need stop focusing on the freaking text message and focus on your end. Focus on your end. So I will recommend you to do a list. Of so for example, in my case, would be I want a marriage, right? I want to be in a marriage, and it not any marriage a happy wealthy marriage okay so in my case would be like a loyal person good communication reciprocity you know a uh, uh, a man that can provide 100 percent a man where i can have a life that is what is the word that that, that is you know like good uh wealthy wealthy let's call it like that you know uh the wealthy uh and you're going to add all these things so of your end and do a list and be be very specific this is just are some things before doing that i did a list of the men i want right and i did this like three years ago um and i was super specific with it right 
um, but then I get to know that I needed to add to add certain things to change certain things and to remove certain things you know you're going to get to know people uh, where you're going to be looking at your list and be like okay this person may have a 70% of what I want but then you know you, you find the people where they trigger something that you didn't add on your list and you're like okay this really bothers me so I needed to change this or to uh, remove it or change it duh, 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 duh. so you're going to be experimenting with it and I am being like seeing what you actually want what actually makes you happy as a person right um, so I would tell you to first do a list of the men or women you want and then do the list of your end what do you want okay but because here we are speaking about a specific person like wanting to attract a specific person you already have the person what you needed to do is uh, the list of your end so definitely go go with everything you want like listen to your heart quiet your freaking mind like I told you yesterday quiet the mind quiet the crazy monkey listen to your heart what do you really want okay so whatever you really want you're going to write on that list and like I said if it's big don't be afraid don't be scared and don't allow your ego to tell you you're not going to be able to get that don't allow your ego to tell you that listen to your heart and do your list based on what your heart your heart really wants really desires right so that's how i recommend doing the list what do you really really want okay so do that list once you have that list and you have everything of uh, the details of your ending what you are going to do is you're going to sit down and and think having that how it makes you feel how it makes you feel right so you're going to sit down and let's say how it makes you feel having someone uh, pursuing you right how would you feel uh, what frequency of energy would you have if that would be happen to <laughs> to you if yes if you had that already um so <laughs> uh, yeah <laughs> that for example to give you an example right you can use uh examples on your own life right so for example let's say you want a masculine man you want a masculine man that is very firm when he speaks right so how that make you feel right like having that for example i really love a man that tell you what you what to do in a very firm masculine voice today in the afternoon one of my friends passed and i was on my sexy pajamas and he was like close now right that was sexy and you know that kind of like make me feel like meow <laughs> you know um so on what frequency usually what i like make me vibe like that like and i usually want to show it to the person but it's the frequency i have on the moment you know i'm like yes tell me what to do i'm not going to listen but i love how it sounds because i never listen <laughs> but i love how it sounds i love when men does that although i don't listen i love it um so you can use examples on, on so usually i vibe on that frequency like th that that kind of frequency i show you in a moment when a man is like no put your wallet down i'll pay for it i'm like mm. <laughs> yes you know uh that or for example when they open the, the door for you or when they're uh, gentlemen's right when they're like no put that down i'll bring it for you do you eat already i'll bring you food you know all these kind of gentlemen gentlemen masculine men traits i freaking love them and then the opposite it would just turn me off you know it completely turned me off the opposite so understanding on, on what the frequency do you vibe i'll be like i love that i freaking love that 
likes <laughs> when I like something you know that's the frequency my natural frequency although like I said I would not show it and you're going to start to feed that frequency that energy without having that now remember yesterday I talked to you about when I manifested unconsciously my table well what I was doing was I was reaching the frequency of having the table without having the table with the example I give you that I was using my imagination to you know believe that this ugly table right here was that table and started to vibe on it live on it and do the things that i wanted to do on that table but on this only table so you're going to start to feed that frequency with, because i was not having the table right so without having the person you want you start to feed that so first is recognizing what frequency you buy when you have a, what, what you like or what you want and then is feeding that the frequency with your own self right so to give you examples the way i can feed that energy with my own self without having a man doing that right other ways to vibe on that frequency to me for example would be doing my makeup and looking at looking at myself at the mirror because I love myself. I mean, let's be honest. I freaking love myself. I love mirrors. I love looking at me and I love flirting with me. And I have a very flirty energy when I like something. So a mirror session for me would be amazing to feed that frequency, okay? So that is, for example, my energy one way, okay? One way to, to feed that, that frequency. Another one is bats, you know? Uh, with the rose petals, uh, candles, also that make me be in that kind of vibe. Um, doing my clothes, uh, a nice outfit, doing what you want and feed that energy by your own self. Visualizations also are amazing. So let's say if you want a marriage, right? Start to visualize when you go out that you're out with that person and visualize that person in front of you, right? So start doing visualizations with the person, if it is the case that you have a specific person that you want in your life, or you want to, to you want that person to pursue you or to, you know, to marry you or whatever, um, start visualizing that person in your day-to-day -day life. So for example, if you're eating, right visualize that person sitting in one of the chairs eating with you and start to visualize like beautiful moments with that person you know maybe like sharing the food or you know saying good morning to each other start to do visualizations also this helps a lot next one uh for a person change the way you think about that person okay so this is very important to change the way you are thinking about that person so instead of started thinking, oh my gosh, uh, you know, uh, he or she probably hate me. You know, those are assumptions. Why assume the negative when you can assume the positive, right? At the end of the day is assumptions and you're not sure really what is going on with the person if the person haven't, haven't um, informed you, right? So why break your head with it? You already went through this. I already went through this. It's horrible. Break your head with, your, with the negative. So, you know, avoid yourself. All the stress this causes you and instead assume the positive. Like I said, at the end of the day, it's assumptions. Either positive or negative are assumptions. It's not a truth until, until with your God or Goddess's power, you make it a truth. And it's going to be the truth you wanted it to be right i want you to think like in the, you know go internal with you how many times have you actually been mad with someone and probably unconsciously that someone manifested you not being mad with them and the madness goes away like super fast you know what i mean i don't know if you have been through this but i have been through this where i'm super mad with someone and it's like the person subconsciously manifested me not being mad and it's like suddenly my, my point of view changes completely, right? So uh, that's, that's a law of assumption, you know, like someone else assumed I was not a mad and I ended, ended up not being mad. 
So the same when you're trying to manifest, assume the positive because you're going to make it come true. Okay, so I'll give you it. So for example, I manifested keeping my, uh, uh, my body before having kids after having kids and this was very unconscious how i did this people when i get the pregnant of my very first kid people women started to tell me oh my gosh you're going to get fat like say goodbye to your beautiful body because th th that was it you know after having a baby you get fat and your stomach is going to be like loose and you know you're going to lose your butt is going to be you know all that and people started to tell me all that but i i never listened i never listened i was like i mean you know it's not like i'm going to take the baby out right and i wanted my baby so i was like i mean why are you telling me this it, like it doesn't make sense to me like why and i never listened to it i'll be like well you know so my answer usually would be well if it's going to be, it's going to be, and if not, do not, you know, like, I'm not there yet. So, when I had my first kid, after two weeks, I was kind of, like, chubby still, and because everyone told me that, I was like, maybe this is going to be my new body, so I needed to learn to love this new body, and I started to love that chubby body I had on that moment, and suddenly in one week, boom, again, exact the same body as if I never had a kid, you know, exact the same body. My clothes will fit, like the clothes before having kid, uh, my, my daughter will fit. And my stomach still with a six pack, you know, um, dad, and I guess I manifested it. Many people start, this is going to be finished so late, but my sleep timing is kind of like a ruin right now <laughs> so after that many people told me well wait until the second baby then you're going to lose your body well the second baby came and i didn't lose my body <laughs> so you know because i was not believing what people was saying to me i have manifested so many stuff like physically on my own physique right that I would not have finished telling you like the horrible stories, horror stories about my the childhood while well, growing up. <laughs> but I manifested a, a lot of changes on it uh, for better, right? For better. Unconsciously, because I didn't knew. But it's very important to understand it's because it's hard to, to explain. So it's very important to understand that the first you need to do shadow work, like I told you yesterday, you have to do the freaking shadow work. <laughs> so, because like I said, we have that crazy monkey jumping one side of, of to the other side of our brains, you know? And remember I told you where you put your focus is what you're going to amplify. So even because, I don't know, let's say, someone you have a friend right and this friend posts something about whatever about being mad with someone and they should the shoe fits you right and you start to 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 assume that your friend is mad with you and in reality the post was not even direct to you this can start can start to change the frequency of your friend and start to get mad at you like i have seen this so much so learning to control the mind okay don't allow your mind your ego to tell you negative stuff and to tell you it's not going to happen uh, he or she is too much for you or even also the ego can be you're too much for that person no one is too much for no one it's just that you are on different frequencies and looking for different things you know what i mean so don't allow your ego to brainwash you and don't allow also social media to brainwash you because social media, you know, if you're going through pain and social media posts things or you see things on social media that feed 
that the pain is going to get even worse. It's like putting salt on, you know, on a cut on, on the skin. Yes. So avoid that. They learn to control your mind. Quiet the mind. Listen to your heart. It is very important in order to be able to manifest. Okay? Especially. And it's important to do the shadow work because when you do shadow work and now being, being the best option for the person you want or you like, becomes a logic not anymore magical manifestation but something that is logic because you have done your shadow work you're being the best version of yourself and you're the best that person can find that you want if is the case which i think for most of the people you know uh for others maybe not but if there is like specific someone once you, you do your shadow work and you know you connect with your heart and you vibe from love now is logic because like i said yesterday you don't find someone who put their all on a relationship and that make you the best option there so number one and most important shadow work number two change the way you think about a person at first can be very hard because experience having experience experimenting with it and at first it's hard it's hard especially when the person triggers you a lot you know but if the person is triggering you a lot it's for a reason it's because you need to, to heal something right so it is hard i'm not going to lie but you need to practice the more you practice the better you become at it okay so it's first shadow work then changing the perspective you have of the person or the way you are thinking towards a person and then number three live on your end live on your end stop focusing on the freaking text message focus on your end what do you want with a person why you want that person why that person is so important for you so number one and most important shadow work number two change the way you think about a person at first can be very hard because experience having experience experimenting with it and at first it's hard it's hard especially when the person triggers you a lot you know but if the person is triggering you a lot it's for a reason it's because you need to, to heal something right so it is hard i'm not going to lie but you need to practice the more you practice the better you become at it okay so it's first shadow work then changing the perspective you have of the person or the way you are thinking towards a person and then number three live on your end live on your end stop focusing on the freaking text message focus on your end what do you want with a person why you want that person why that person is so important for you so I guess that was it for today. Um, practice. And if you have any questions, let me know. Uh, I would love to read any questions or I don't know if you're working with law of assumption or law of attraction, what you are doing, what have worked for you, what they don't. And, uh, you know, maybe that can help me understand or see where people is lacking and do more videos about it, you know, and explain you more things because this is the way a lot of things explain about this. Um, but, you know, that. <laughs> I hope you really like it. Be good. If you're going to be bad, you already know. Invite me. Bye-bye.